Hi sewing friends, welcome to my sewing room. Today I am taking some salvages that have been collecting at my house. I was even gifted a bag of salvages. The leftover edges from fabric that really are not good for quilting because of that tight wo woven end on the edge of the fabric. And a lot of it has print on it and the color of dyes that were used. So they're just leftovers and it's fun to use up leftovers. It's kind of an extreme way to use fabric. <laughs> so I took some batting and I cut six inch squares and now I'm just going to be adding all of those pretty little strips to my batting. And I checked to make sure that the edge was covered. So the salvage edge doesn't fray. So what you can do is you can just lay that salvage over the raw edge of the first piece that you put down. And this salvage right here has a salvage edge, but there's no print on this side. So that's kind of fun too. That one will not have any print on it. It just looks blue, but it is not a raw edge. So I can just sew that right on top of the, um, the one I did before. And I'm focusing on greens and blues for this little mug rug or coaster that I'm hoping to gift to a friend. After getting all my strips on, I took it over to my ironing board and I pressed. I did not press as I went along. I could have done that, but I didn't. And then I just trimmed using the batting as my guide. Now these little coasters are a bit bigger than I typically make, but I think it'll be nice to have a set that are a little bit bigger. And then I cut a six inch square for the backing of my coasters. What I'll do is I'll sew all the way around my little coaster with right sides together. I will leave a generous opening on one side so I can turn it right side out. And before I do that, I will trim the corners. Now all I need to do is I need to tuck in that raw edge and I will be sewing, top stitching all the way around this little coaster.
This is such a simple little project. I'm kind of addicted. I want to make a whole bunch of these. I was also thinking it would be fun to make placemats using this method. You could make a pillow. You could make a little zipper bag. So many options. You just have to cut that piece of batting the size that you need and then cover it with strips. And wouldn't it be fun to maybe put the strips on a diagonal? That might look interesting. So use your imagination and I really like making things that I can use. I'm very practical minded. So if it's something that you can use, use your salvages and sew something together. I'm going to keep sewing because like I said, I don't want to stop making these. They're so much fun and I'm using all those little pieces that would normally get put in the round file or the trash can. So it's fun to, uh, I'm a thrifty minded sewer, so I'm having a lot of fun. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next time.